recording for quality control purposes. Good. Let me share my Good. screen. Share my, let me give you a little treat. Let me share my screen. All right. Bye bye. One second. I gotta give you permission. Ron's not gonna make it. Um, I told him we would just tell him, give him any updates. All right. To his workload. Well, here's an update. Here's a little site in in Sweet Savannah, Missouri, and we're looking at a two thousand square foot little thingy right there, fifty feet back from the road. Cool. This is going forward, so let's see if we can make it make it happen. The challenge here was that the guys told me, oh, it's kind of sloping downhill. It is. It's sloping downhill. Now, the fundamental one of the fundamental rules of plumbing is that shit flows downhill. So, how do you get the sewer, which is across the street? Well, the sewer is actually nine feet deep, so this should work. <clears throat> Even though we're yeah. about negative five there, it's a little treat for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I've got a treat for you. What, what do you got? Oh man! Well, yeah, thanks for doing all the work, man. Good job. You're you're following up diligently on everything. I, I've been a bad boy. Now, um, okay. Like the, I don't know what we can we should put for the the grand amount because it looks like we got 150k baseline, of, so it makes it 600. But beyond that, we don't have much in terms of like in kind stuff. So it's like 600, 800, 1 million that we can go for. So initially, I was. It's yeah. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Better than nothing. Yeah, we should, we should definitely, definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm literally going to scroll through this and then show you where on the the working document you have to start doing stuff. Okay. Cool? Yeah. All right. So this is the top of the page. When you log in, you'll see the same thing. Section one, applicant information, that's all filled in. You don't have to do anything. Uh, the, the login, I have to log in here later. And you, you okay, so so you can just leave your answers in the grant document and then I can upload it, or you can put them into the grant document. Since you've already it's up done to you. that, why don't you do that since... Uh, it's fine, okay. Yeah. Contact information, do you have a middle name, no. middle initial? No. Okay. Um, Everything is... Contact number is 816-866-3217. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Primary population, unemployment, people in exper experience in unemployment who want to and are available for work. Secondary, individuals who are currently employed but seeking greater opportunities. Can we reverse those? Because uh, I feel okay. like the the second one that you have is the court more most aligned with the kind of with our mission. It's about the aspirational aspect. Do you think that okay. that matters, or are, are we okay with that? It doesn't matter. Okay. It, they're, yeah. they're both they're both Group A populations. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or actually, no, that's a lie. That's not true. Um, let's confirm, because I'm pretty sure that the unemployed are Group A. They're worth more points. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Click what on happened? That. Click on that, yeah. That's the actual grant. No, I'm, I'm looking for the... I, ha I created a... Yeah, it's another page. It should be linking. You guys should go to Okay, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So so we, we should group A is unemployment. Okay. That's yeah. more points. Let's keep it. Okay. Let's keep group A. Mm -hmm. More points. <laughs> Individuals living in low and moderate income households. And then we're going to serve more than three populations. I said uh, inspire persons not in the labor force and veterans through the GI Bill. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
estimated count of primary beneficiaries. I'm mm -hmm. estimating a new cohort every six months. Yep. Each cohort's 24. That's 120 for five cohorts between now and the end of the June 2026 or whatever. That's more than um, that should be. I'm, I'm assuming we don't start until 20, next summer, basically. So 23, 4, 5. Okay, 5, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and estimated total benefit. Is, and is, it goes through end of 25 or through end of 26? The end of our project has to, we have to end the grant proposal relevant part June, June 30th, 2026. Uh-huh, mid-26. Right. Okay. Uh, and then I just guessed 200 total beneficiaries, uh, you know, throwing in potential homeowners, throwing in people who aren't unemployed, people who are maybe um, just uh, underemployed. Primary beneficiaries, does that mean only the, the first group unemployed. that you mentioned? Yeah. This is, this is all an estimate. I mean, it's like, okay. yeah. There's, there's no way to yeah, I mean. predict, really. Um, will any of them be non-Missouri residents? Yes, I'm assuming some of them will. Um, is this will they be? In uh, how does that affect our our answers? Because um, <clears throat> does that weigh against us a bit? Because the this is from the department from Missouri. Uh, th yeah. Not that I can tell. Okay. I mean, I I, I can pull up the uh, the. Uh, guidelines, and you can see the rubric. Uh, budget. So, for the scorecard, um, you get points. You know, the The only points they're talking about is the number of people you're training and which groups they're coming from. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, I hate how it does that. Uh, ba -ba. So these numbers are all estimates. But yes, if they are not Missouri residents, they're going to be employed by a Missouri employer. So that yeah. kind of covers that base. All right. How will we serve the specified population? I wrote this today. This was a Brian question that I'm helping him out with. Mm -hmm. um, you can review my answer later. Um, but so that's done. Um, I'm saying agriculture, construction, and manufacturing. Those are like the three yeah. um, classifications. All right, I cleaned up this response to the performance measures to be more direct. Mm -hmm. So you can, again, review that as needed. Um, project name, again, starting, I'm assuming we're starting roughly March of next year with a uh, projected end date, the last possible date this grant covers. Mm -hmm. um, here is my tweet version. Well, I'm limited to 500 characters, not words. So this is the, the pitch. Uh, so we're, we're centering this around the registered apprenticeship or, I mean, how does that break down between the formal apprenticeship versus not? I mean, cause it seems that we'll get to this sometime, but, but we'll be operating outside of this framework early on in the program, right? Yeah. But it, so the way I'm looking at this is we're, we want your funding so that we can build up registered apprenticeship. That's the goal. Yeah. And then everything we do between now and then okay. is building up to that. I love it. Go ahead. That's consistent. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. So the next thing do you, is Savannah in Buchanan County. Do you know? I'll, I'll find it. Okay. Savannah, Missouri County and your County. Andrew, yeah, Andrew. Okay, so, fuck. I mean, why well, I uh, expect we'll be uh, all over the place, so, but, yeah, okay. uh, I mean, it's like, all that apply, I mean, I should just, well, 
we should pick a lot that are I mean, does it? Do we care? I mean, it will be all, all around. I mean, because uh, well, I mean, two years, yeah, we'll be. Uh, we should, should probably be in this about well, every county. I mean, I anything that you think we have a lead on, like from from that Jeremy Sheets, his brother had a farm in Springfield or whatever. Like, if you want to come back to this application page and just start checking boxes, you think apply by all means, please do that. Um, what they do is they're going to take this and cross match it to their their uh census data about poverty in different uh metro statistical areas and then weigh impact based on that mm -hmm. is kansas city johnson uh i think so yeah 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 let's um because definitely around uh, what's it called where washington university is in st louis right there's a lot of um, St. Louis is in. Okay, so I'm going. I'm gonna make a little task list for you. St. Louis County. Click that. Question one. five. St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. We we we'll, let's do this later, yeah. just so we can All get right. through the. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So this is for Brian. This is currently tasked to Brian. So Brian, okay. as section four, question six. Um, all right. Application narrative. I wrote this. Um, I definitely want somebody else to check this um, at some other time. Sorry, just a question before the the first entry there was that was factory farm, right? And then what are we selecting for any other ones, like for locations? You talking about describe your project area? Yeah. Um, I mean, I would so so what they're asking us to do is give a is give the address or lat long of uh, where the training of where where activities are going to occur and whether it's training renovation equipment or a facility lease so it'll be like you know um mcc address um okay. training and it'll be you know maysville campus uh training uh renovation equipment right mm -hmm. that's all that's yeah, all they okay. need to see okay. um Let's see. Okay, so the narrative, I wrote this. Um, I rewrote it because I had an answer there. Um, you can read it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, later. Okay. I attached all the supporting data. So if I reference something up here, here's the supporting data. Um, the key objectives, I wrote this. Uh, again, you can read that later. Mm -hmm. So that's done. Okay. Detailed description of expected impact. This is Brian. So, section five, question four. Let me just make section. Yep, section five, question four. And here we have an opportunity to drop three files that support extent of impact. That could be. Um, it could be like documentation related to your. Uh, previous, like anything that we have on the wiki that you know supports uh, apprenticeship or uh, open source manufacturing or the work what, that you're doing. Is this one good or no? Go yeah, it's got to be a document. So we we don't have to figure this out now, but it, it's an opportunity for us to put. Um, proof, you know, documentation to back it up. So I'm going to add that to yours. So that's question section five, question five. All right, this is also Brian. So that's section five, question six. All right, letters of support are going here as I get them. 
as far as I know, we're still waiting on Mary Esselman, Jesse Bowden, Martin Kirk, uh, and whoever else you can think of who you may have reached out to. And like Brian and Bob Berkebeal, uh, which I have no update on. I don't know what's going on with that. But um, Clint's is in there, MCC's is in there. Um, and then this is Brian as well. So this is. Question eight. Oh, who's got eight? eight? That's, that's me. me. Brian. Brian. No, that's Brian. Um, okay, so partner activities. Um, you know, like, if it, I, I think a good example of that might be. So, where is, where are, you, are you on the same page? Partner activities, where? Right here. Narrative, so attach documents that Partner. support or help huh. illustrate. So that could be like like Brian's foundation for regeneration stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. Narrative, yeah. Um, okay, so applicant category, uh, well, no experience with video? Let's see. Uh, no. No, okay. Um, Do they get to see the, in the application somewhere, they, there's a link to the TED Talk and all that, of course? Uh, no, but what we can do is create a, a links document. Mm -hmm. If you want, I mean, there's there's your the link to your website, I think, maybe, yeah. at the top. Okay. Um, yeah, nope. Yeah, right here. All right. So they've got your website, but uh, I would say I would say that's probably better to do than the TED Talk link. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Six. So um, no, we don't have experience with federal funding. No. Um, but a federal funding. Yes. I mean, that's Brian, though. Like, like, like yeah, do we say yes, yes on that? I mean, Only if he's willing to answer the question. If yes, describe your prior experience with federal funding tracking, monitoring, and compliance. I mean, can we attach that to Brian? Sure. I mean, I yeah, it's fine with me. I just so you know, he called me yesterday um, saying that he was swamped and wasn't going to be able to contribute as much. Ah. So. Okay. So maybe. You know. Uh -huh. We'll see. I mean, I I did three of his questions uh -huh. for him, so hopefully yeah. that'll help. Um, does the applicant have experience with projects? Yes. And I took your answer from the document and put it in here, re reworded it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Does the applicant have experience with projects? Uh, similar employer involvement? Again, took your answer, tightened it up. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's you know, <clears throat> somewhat relevant. Right. Uh, do we have ex do we have experience with similar similar measurable outcomes? Yes. Here you go. Boom. Your words. And then here is the meat and potatoes. So if we're going with six hundred thousand, total cost of this project is we want to call it one million. Well, we've got. Uh, let's do. I would say 20k for the land donation and 4k for the Gitcoin. So we got six. Uh, so we got 174. That's counted explicitly times four. And that's a good, uh, good number. Out of being a round number too. Let's see. Okay. So so. 696 thousand dollars. Cool. Uh, what do you think the total cost is? Uh, but but that depends what what uh, the scope of what, what we should include here. Total cost of setting up the apprenticeship program. I mean, for the fully running, like the minimum version of it, or, or like once it's actually running and effective, like very effectively. 
Yeah, let's say let's say we do like let's say it takes us a year to get a fully functional two year. So we got, you know, five five cohorts at twenty four by twenty twenty six. Um you know, one option is to just go with the the proposal that we sent to Martin. We've already got the numbers to back that up and it's something like eight eight fifty something. Right. Now this is um do they and they say it's like 696 for this. I mean, but this 696 is stuff that expands the curriculum development part, but it has nothing to do pretty much with infrastructure. So those numbers don't overlap too much, right? <coughs> so do we add? Um, I think you might want to be adding, like, if it was like 800, then add whatever is extra in here. So, like, more like, you know, 1.5 or 1.2 million or something, or. Right. Uh, let's call it 1.5. Yeah. Um, yes, it, we are including capital expenditures because we are going to need to use some of this to buy training equipment and, uh, yeah. but it's less, it's less than a million. Um, how much of the total cost is capital expenditure? So this is something that you need to work out. Everything else is an output of your Excel work. So if I go to the I think I put actual 50,000 in there. <clears throat> if you look at well, the budget, go, go there's a link to the budget. Right here. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, clean clean that up and okay. So so yeah, you you have to scale this down, yeah. That that's fine. Mm -hmm. Just when when you scale it down to be consistent with the other answers that I gave, um the cost breakdown, the startup costs that I'm I'm organizing them as um, staff. It's hiring staff and admin. It's um, recruiting and marketing, and it's I think it's training material maybe curriculum. Oh yeah, curriculum. Which includes uh, some capital expenditures. Right, right. So, <clears throat> so those are the three categories basically, and obviously you you may you, you're going to want to break those down even further when you do your table. Yeah. Um. So, but but the, that that is consistent with the rest of. Yeah. Um. Uh, I have a general question. That, can you feedback on this? If we're actually running a an on the job training program as a nonprofit, you think we're going to rub some people the wrong way because people say that, oh, we have an unfair advantage because you're taking apprentices to, to do real economic work? Or no? No, I mean, every, people do that, right? They're, I what, have no idea. See, the thing is, nobody, like, for example, the tech schools, no, they don't do that. They, they just, you pay for education there. They don't actually go out on real builds. But in apprenticeships, which are for-profit businesses typically. So we're mixing the for-profit and the education, which we always do. Um, you could, you what you could do is create a spin-off LLC that is the Cdco Home Company mm -hmm. that feeds all profits into the nonprofit parent right. company. Yeah. So that like there, there's a lot of there's a lot of ways that, like on paper just to make it a separate entity so that your the nonprofit is not the employer. Yeah, but like we have to that's further down the road okay so don't worry about that something we'll take care of later. um right um so given given the 696 that we're requesting so you're just gonna have to go back throw in the numbers by category and then once you do that we can come back here and figure out which which of that was capex and put it in to this answer mm -hmm. um so what did we say the matching was Total matching? Six, six ninety six. Six ninety six. No. Divided by four? Yeah. So one seventy four. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that's that's the one fifty from Novo, which we're gonna need something from Novo, the letter something. It's the um land 
Do you say? Yep. Or the yep, and then the the four K from Gitcoin. Get... All right, so we need we need the something that from the Gitcoin website that says that we have that. Yeah, it's not, just print out that page there. Yeah, total. It's, I think it shows total funding. Let's see. And then, do you want? Is there any private dollars from Steve you want to add? Um, what the deadline is, I haven't because of the Nova Foundation thing. This conversation got delayed. Uh, so right now, no. Or if it's due date, is okay. a couple of days. Okay. This is this is a big one for you. Um, which is oh my god. So frustrating. Um, question eleven. Okay. Which section, section is this? Or is this seven? Question eleven. Section seven. Second. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm going to write this down at the top of the document with hyperlinks. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, 12 is the budget narrative. Um, and then 13 is where we upload the supporting documents. Did Clint ever get back to you? He said, sorry, the, it didn't go, we didn't do the meeting yet. Meetings like, uh, it, I think he mentioned something like the 27th, it might be today. Okay. Well, if it, you know, worst case scenario, if we don't, we, uh, we don't have it by Saturday, uh, just send the un, the one that you signed, and then we'll attach the email. Right. With the document. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I can do that. Okay. All the documents are uploaded. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate your help on that. Okay, and that's it. Wow. Sit. So. Two hundred fifty words from me on eleven. Uh -huh. And then a budget. Mm -hmm. And then a budget. So okay. um, I'm in the document right now. I'm going to link all this stuff. Oh, crap. Section four. OK, here we go. Section five. Uh, why isn't that in there? Question 11, oh, is the budget table, question 13. All right, so now I gotta do the same thing for Brian. Sorry, just give me one second. Mm -hmm. I just uploaded the Gitcoin grant screenshot up to the required docs. That folder? Mm hmm. Thank you.
Okay. So you should see your assignment in just a second. document you just dropped. Uh, Gitcoin.png. Okay. So that that's it for me for in terms of project management. So next step, uh, get your responses in the document so that I can review them and we can all have a chance to edit and polish. And then I submit Saturday. Okay. So let me make. So where did you write the tests down at the top of the doc? Okay, I see it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have to dig up the login. Let me just make sure I got that. So what? What was that under ARPA? ARPA login or what? Grant login. For the, for the application? Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I can send this to you. Let me know, let me know what happens when you click on this link. Mm -hmm. So I get... Uh, Create your account or have an account sign in. Maybe, uh, maybe you can send me that. Or <clears throat> so when I, mean, I don't have your path, I don't have your password. You should ha you should have created one. But you you definitely have an account. I can I can send you an email through this. And maybe that will. I just sent an email to you through the submittable. <clears throat> it tells me to sign in. This is the thing that we said we we that they initially said it will take a bunch of time for me to get relogged in. Or no, that's e-verify. That no, 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 this is <laughs> this is the. Uh, all right, I'll just re-invite you. How about that? Yeah. Okay. If I'm doing this, I might as well just go right in there so you don't have to paste it over. And then you can redo the whole thing. Or I mean, we both uh, do it. I've been sending you emails. Okay, now I got it. All right, I just invited you again. So if Brian doesn't respond on his stuff, we we have to basically do that before 
Mid what was it midnight the thirty first? Saturday, midnight Saturday. I mean, if oh, he's he he's tracking. Uh, he called me today, mm -hmm. um, right before this meeting, to let me know he was going to be here. And he knows that if he needs help, all he has to do is ask mm -hmm. to tell me what he needs help on. But he's just getting back to his computer now. Mm -hmm. So, um, if if he goes dark by tomorrow night, then I'll just all night this motherfucker and get it in. If he goes dark Friday night, we have um, we have Saturday morning, right? So Saturday we finish. Yeah, tomorrow. but yeah, in theory. Um, but I would prefer just do that Friday night. I would prefer to to have some buffer. Yeah. For Saturday. Um, yeah. For editing and refinement, because I'm the only person who's read my responses, and like there's a we right now we're mixing between first and third person i don't know what is more appropriate um so like mm -hmm. i i just need answers to work off of you know what i mean yeah and like he we all agreed on these tasks and when he called me a couple days ago he sounded kind of surprised that he had so many questions to answer which i don't understand but mm-hmm it also sounds like he's pretty swamped right now. Mm -hmm. um, but that's it. I mean, there's, what, like five questions we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's seven written questions we need to answer and, like, three document upload sections, and then you have to do the budget table. Those are the big things. Got it. Well, so I'm, I'm in there. The, the link worked. Let me see if it Great. works again after I log out. Make sure I can get back in there. Log out. Okay. So I go to see what's the other mail. Okay, that, that one. Okay. Sign in with Google. Great. Yeah, I, I'm in there. So uh, I'll do I'll do the budget and uh, how ready are we? What are let's see just so I see this question five. That's minor. Score impact, yeah, question 11, specific detail thing, budget, document. What was the document upload for proof of matching? There was a... That was the Gitcoin. Uh, we need something from the city about the land, and then something from Martin, which I think we're just going to have to reuse his letter of support because we haven't even filled out that application yet. Like, we haven't been awarded the money, so we're going to have to use... Uh... He signed the letter of support, or no, not yet? No, I sent him the template, and yeah. um, you know, I'm sure he's got a team of people to fill that out for him. Yeah, I got. I might have to ping him on that today because I'm filling out the paperwork for that, and I have till the 31st for that as well. So that's not basically. I got uh, pretty much have to refill the entire application online. So. Well, a lot of copy and paste, but also added some new stuff. Okay, but cool. Uh, 31st on this this one, we're pretty good shape. What I see in this whole application, it, it's uh, it makes a coherent story, I think, what's already there, so we're pretty good. Mm -hmm. well, that's good to know. Cause yeah, it does, it does. It's, it, I see a coherent, <laughs> coherent story there. Mm -hmm. Right. When um, it was in a, in a Google Doc, it was like all over the place. Here, it's like, because the questions are more focused, we're going to see, oh, okay. 
These are just the things, and they do connect to one another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and every every question is a different chapter. You know, like yeah. they're not oh, they're not completely overlapping. At least I hope they're not. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. We'll see what happens. The thing on the, I don't know if you read the the AR VR stuff, but I mean, according to the the guy, Dr. Chan from UMKC, it takes like two to four weeks per module, and we have a hundred of them. Like, long, long time. The process is so. They're like in the backwoods so far with the AR. There's no automated processes yet, as far as he understands. So, but it's like I have a hard time believing that it should be easier to generate augmented reality using some some simpler tools than full blown yeah, um, for the, for AR. So my I mean, the my analogy that has been in the back of my mind that I can't believe I'm going to invoke here is like when I teach someone how to shoot, it's you start with iron sights, and when I teach somebody to land nav. You start with a map and compass before you use GPS, before you use any fancy optics. And yet, like, there's something about the learning that happens pre, you know, assistive technology that we have to figure out before, like, that is critical in my in my opinion. Like, I, yeah. I get where the yeah. AR, XR can, like, blow, blow this out of the water in the future. I want to have the foundation first of the crew leaders on the ground with hammer and nails. I think... Um, which is why I don't, all that to say, I don't think it's a risk that Dr. Chen's not ready, you know, to implement with us right now. I think we take it out altogether. It's like we might not just mention it, but no, it's, it's basically that. It's a cool, yeah. Um, unless you can hire a larger team, not just like two people. And when it comes to more than two people, it's like good luck finding them. Um, it's like by the time we're done with instructionals, we, we've, it's obsolete already. You know? Right. So, right. Um, forget about it for now. Okay. Otherwise, cool. we're, we're all good. We're beautiful. Great, man. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, look, we, we should have some check-in. So, like, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, afternoon, Friday do you want to have a check-in to see where we are? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Thanks I'll just, uh, let me, yeah, my pleasure. Thanks. Stand so by for an invite. If you were okay for you kind of kept it together. That's good. Mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not done yet, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. All right, brother. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. You too.